So now let us proceed to the secondary classification. So the secondary classification is placed just to the right of the primary classification. Fingers that appear in the right hand become the numerator, while those in the left hand will be the denominators. To obtain this classification formula, it was divided into secondary capital letter group and the secondary small letter group. So unlike the primary classification, which we have the add and even numbers, which the add is the denominator and the even numbers are the numerator. In the secondary classification formula, the numerator are the right are the fingers located at the right hand, while the denominator will be the fingers located at the left hand or fingers number six, six to ten. So let us now proceed to the secondary capital letter group. So it is obtained by writing the symbol of the pattern that appeared in the right and left index fingers. So fingers number 2 and 7. So there are five basic type of pattern which can appear. So it will be represented by capital letters. Example, the plain arc will be represented by capital letter A. Your tented arc will be represented by capital letter R. Your radial loop will be represented by capital letter R. Your tented arc is T, rather. Your ulnar loop is represented by capital letter U. And your whirl is represented by W. Whirl or any of its composites, meaning to say, plain world, central pocket loop world, double loop world, or accidental loop world will be represented by letter W, regardless of what type of world you are going to classify. It will be represented by capital letter W. Note, only symbol of the pattern will be brought up into the classification line. I emphasize the word capital letter because in the secondary capital letter group, it is very important that you write the letters in, you write the capital letters rather. Because later we will, we will, classi we will have a classification or different classification for the small letter group. So the secondary classification formula for the capital letter group will be our uh, will be uh, no, will be the concern of the fingers number two and seven. So finger number two is plain world or a world type pattern. So the secondary classification formula for the capital letter group, the numerator will be W. And finger number 7 is a tented arc. So it will be represented by a capital letter T. So make sure to leave a blank space uh, on the left side of your capital letter group because it, it will be reserved for fingers number 1 and fingers number 6 during the secondary classification for the small letter group. So the secondary small letter group is obtained by treating the type of patterns that will be that will appear in fingers number 1, 3, 4, and 5 with the exception of 2 and 7 and fingers number 6, 8, 9, and 10 in the left hand. Fingers with plain arc will be represented by small letter A Tented arc, small letter T, radial loop, small letter R, and ulnar loop, small letter U. In any of the said fingers except the index fingers constitute the secondary small letter group. So, we will, in the secondary small letter group, we will classify all fingers except fingers number 2 and 7 because it was already identified and classified during the capital letter group. So symbol of this pattern in small letter will be brought up to the classification formula. So take note, only a pattern of world type and its composites are not treated in this classification and it will be represented by a dash in the classification line. 
Meaning to say, we only classify the radial, the radial loop, the ulnar loop, the tented arc, and the plane arc during the small letter group. And the world pattern will be represented by dash. So let us classify. So, the numerator are 1, 3, 4, and 5, and the denominator is 6, 8, 9, and 10. So, let us first classify your finger number 1, which is plain world. So, it will be represented by a dash. And let your finger number 3 is also a world type pattern. So, it will be represented by a dash. Finger number 4 is an ulnar loop. So, it will be represented by a small letter U. Finger number 5 is a radial loop. So, it will be represented by small letter R. Finger number 6 is an ulnar loop. So, it will be represented by a small letter U. Finger number 8 is an ulnar loop, so it will be represented by a small letter U. And your finger number 9 is a tented arc and will be represented by a small letter T. And your finger number 10 is also a plain world, so it will be represented by a dash. So that's how your secondary classification formula is done.